So how much sleep do you really need? It's a question that has had researchers and sleepers alike tossing and turning for decades. Well, now some are suggesting that eight and 0.5 hours may be the magic number. To explain, we're joined by Daniel Gartenberg. He's a sleep scientist and assistant adjunct professor in behavioral health at Penn State University. Professor Gartenberg joins us from New York. Hello and thank you. Hi, thanks for having me. Okay, so we've arrived at this magic number of eight and a half hours. Why is that the perfect number of hours for sleepers? So first off, you know, it varies. Some people need more, some people need less. So the American Academy of Sleep Medicine recently had a guideline that the minimum that the average adult needs every night is seven hours. Um, but preferably you would get much more than that. And actually we're sleeping a whole hour less than we did in the 1940s. So we used to sleep around eight hours. Um, and now we're sleeping only around seven hours. So, but the thing is to actually get that eight hours, you usually need to spend a little more time in bed than that. So a healthy sleeper um, will only spend around 90% of the time in bed sleeping. So actually to get the eight hours that probably most people need, you actually need to spend eight and a half hours of time in bed. So you're actually, you're making up for the time that you actually are in bed, but you're awake. What would be, if it's eight and a half hours to get to that magic number, what would be kind of the minimum that you would need to function? So, I mean, this is the American Academy of Sleep Medicine. It's basically a team of like the top 15 um, doctors in the field say that the minimum is seven hours. But again, it's actually very variable based on people. Um, there's actually certain people that are known as short sleepers and you can do like a genetic test on like 23andMe to see if you have some of this DNA that actually makes you more likely to be able to get by on less sleep. I think actually my brother kind of falls under this category. <laughs> um, but it's, it, that's very rare. Um, I, I have a little hack that you can try to do to figure out how much sleep you actually need. Okay. If you're curious. Um, so basically what um, a professor I work with says to do is basically before you go on vacation, sort of fall into a regular pattern of sleep-wake. And then when you go on vacation, all of a sudden you're free of the stresses that force you to wake up earlier and actually, you know, try to go to bed at the same time every night. And what will happen is you'll fall into this natural pattern. And that's probably the amount of sleep that, that you, you individually might need. Just finally, before I let you go, do you think we can catch up on sleep, like as in the weekend or the vacation? So, I mean, there is some ability to catch up on sleep, but when we sleep deprive ourselves, we're really hurting our bodies. And there's no nothing that we can do to fully regain the damage that's done when you sleep deprive yourself. Well, great to talk to you about this study. Thank you so much. Daniel Gartenberg, appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks.